Hi everyone, Mossmo here from the Blue Root team. And today I have a super exciting feature to show you, and that is email parsing. So a lot of you buy leads or have leads on your website, and when they write in, you get an auto email that comes to you that says new lead, first name, last name, etc. Well, Zoho has this really neat feature to be able to capture that lead, parse the data out of it. So for example, first name, it'll grab the first name and then send it into the CRM as a new lead or contact. So today I'm gonna to walk through how to set up the parser, what you need to know, the do's and don'ts, and the benefits of it. So as always, please like, comment, subscribe. I love hearing from you. And also you'll see a link below to my office hours. That's something I host every week where YouTube, people from YouTube or just wherever the web, find me, come chat with me. It's a group setting. We talk about Zoho advances, do's and don'ts and all that stuff. So I'd love to see you there. Enjoy the video. Hi everyone. Okay, so let's get into this. So first off, you're gonna hit settings inside of your CRM. Probably the easiest way to find this tool is just to go up here and go to mail parser, right? And it'll pop up. You can go ahead and click it. Now you may not see this, you might see an old version here. So in the top right, you might see something like this. You can actually click switch to new parser. It'll bring you to the new parser. The old parses go away, which is what it's warning you about, but don't worry about that. They still continue working. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started. And so the first thing you wanna do is you wanna generate an email parse for your organization. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit generate now. And then you can see here that this is the parsing email address and you can add approved email addresses. What you're gonna end up setting up is when a new lead comes in from your website, you're gonna set up what's called a forwarding rule. So I'll show you how to do that inside of Zoho Mail, but it's the same for Gmail and all of that. Basically, I'll probably do it in, in Gmail, where basically whenever an email comes from your website, you're gonna tell it when it comes from my website, automatically forward it into Zoho. And Zoho will only catch that email if it comes from an approved email address. So I'm gonna go ahead and put in my Gmail and hit add. And so what this is telling it now is if an email ever comes from Massimo Yenriberto at Gmail, you might have to put your website's email as well. So if your website has an email that sends out like contact us at wordpress.com, add that here. And basically Zoho will ingest it. So it's basically saying if some random or some spam emails the long parser, it's not going to take it. But if Massimo Yenriberto at Gmail emails it, it will take it. We'll hit save. So now the next thing is you want to forward an email to this email. So I'm going to pause the email here, or sorry, pause the video here, and then I'll come back. So now I'm in my Gmail. And what I've just done is I've forwarded an email from my email into Gmail. But in theory, this should be like a new lead notification from your website, right? And so oftentimes from websites, it'll say first name, last name, question, or description, or, or whatever you have on your web form, right? So it might send like so how to get it into Zoho on kind of a, a one-off basis is what I would say is click here. I would hit forward and I would delete all of this stuff, right? And what I would do is actually send it to this email. So what should happen shortly is this email should refresh with the actual email that I just forwarded to it. And then we'll go through the parsing steps. There is one last little step that I wanna show you that basically tells you how to do this on kind of an ongoing or go forward basis. You have to set up what's called a forwarding rule. Okay, so once the email comes in, you'll see something like this. You can hit create parser rule, and then it's gonna show the emails that came in, right? And so I'll go ahead and click this one. So now it'll ask you to name it something. So new lead parse. You're gonna say where you want this data to go, right? So some systems may want it in leads, some may want it in contacts. I'm going to put it in contacts in our system. We don't actually use leads, so it's called clients. And I'm going to choose the layout as standard. It might ask you that. And go to the next. So the email parsing here, they kind of explain how to do it. You highlight the data you want to come into the CRM, and then you tell it what field that is, right? So I'm going to highlight this. I'm going to go like this. And I'm going to say, I'm going to type here, first name. And I'm going to highlight this. Type here, last name. And then I'm going to highlight this. And I'm going to say description. This is basically how this all works. So you highlight the data you want to come in, and then you could see here that it's going to tell you what fields it maps to. They have a best practice guide here as well, if you want to use that. And next. And now basically it allows you to have some criteria here. So you can, since there's one email address um, that all of your leads go to, 
you can actually define some criteria here. So you could say, if the subject is new lead from website A, then do this. If the subject is new lead from website B, then do that. So for this example, I only have one, uh, but you can get a bit more specific here if you'd like. You could say the subject is different. If I move myself here. Now you can assign a record owner, right? And so you can create a new assignment rule and you can basically say uh, new assignment. So you do have to assign an owner here. Then you do actually have to create a rule. So you could say all records, or you could be a bit more specific saying records meeting certain conditions. For example, if the lead source is X or the lead source is Y, then assign it to Jim. Or you can even do here, you can choose individual users, you can choose roles, and you could actually add a follow-up task if you'd like. So once you, I'll just say all records, users myself, then I'll hit save. So now this new assignment rule will happen. Then you simply hit finish. And so what has now happened is when these leads write in, they'll automatically go into the CRM assigned to Mossimo, right? And so the last piece I wanted to show you was the Gmail piece, the forwarding rule. So if I go back to this email, this is the original email that came in. It's very similar in all the other apps, but moving forward, you have to tell this software or tell your email inbox to forward everything to that parsing email, right? And so I can click here and hit filter messages like this. This is how you do it in Gmail. And you could say from is whatever, and maybe the subject line contains whatever, right? So it might say new lead, or it might say new website lead or whatever. And then once you have that, you can hit search and then create filter. And now what you've done is you've actually created a filter to forward all those emails. in. You'll choose forward to, and you'll choose an address. Obviously that address is not here yet. So you're going to hit add forwarding email address. And down here, it'll allow you to add it. So you paste in that parsing thing. What Gmail will do is actually send a verification code to the parsing software. You're going to have to type in that verification code back here. And then you're all set where now every email moving forward will automatically forward into your new parse. And so now what you've done is you future proofed it where every email will automatically go in there. So I'd encourage you to try this out. Let me know if you have any questions. It's a really handy feature. And probably the biggest benefit with this is now you don't have to mess with your website, change your web forms or whatever. Or if you're buying leads from a lead aggregator or something, they're not going to let you fiddle with their website or their API. So they're just going to forward you emails when you get new leads. So now you can tell the software, forward it into the inbox, into the parsing inbox and send it in as a new lead. Hope you enjoyed the video and we'll see you next time. Thank you.